Uh, good morning, Pants. Welcome to the uh, first Turf Talk Panther Show. Or the Panther Panther Show. The Panther Panther Show. Peter Papa picked the pickle of Panther Pippers uh, for the Kingston Town Classic meeting on uh, Saturday, the 3rd of December. Matt has promised me today not to call out the rating of each race to bore you to tears because it isn't that important. I'd like to start on uh, Laser of the Day. Would you? Yeah. How did we go last week? Did we go alright? Lay of the day, was it Machina last week? Was that last week? No, I don't think it was. I think your lay of the day was... I don't Shane, know. I Shane Edwards in the last. Shane, Shane Edwards the, uh, Dancing on the Wind? Dancing on the Wind. Okay, so I got beat. Did it? That's good. <laughs> and ring was and yours. Uh, no, final cut was mine. Wait a second. Got beat narrowly. Yeah. We, I think we were very lucky with our lays of the well, day. Yeah, week. well, I do remember there was some sort of... This has no ring master. We, we, we did fall in well, right? But, uh, so, well, you're uh, you're not naked, which uh, means that they both got beaten. Oh, okay. I, don't, I didn't go, actually go back and watch it last week. So I'll give my lad the day for this week. Up front, if I morning missed, even if it drew well, it would be my lad of the day. And it's drawn 16. That's favourite. <clears throat> All right, shall we move on to the first? <clears throat> uh, if you, if you it's want. a thousand metre race. <clears throat> we don't care about the rating. Excuse me, it's from the throat. Yeah, race one is a good race, in fact. Uh, Rio Bruce is the one that back pre post threes into 240. Very impressive on the Wednesday meeting. Uh, beat Lara and A. I actually liked Lara and A that day and it had every chance and didn't get near him. This is a nice horse, Rio Bruce. And it's Very back impressive. Better than, ever, better than ever. Yes. I like it and I have a favourite and I think it will win. It also ran on the same day as that other race. Born the week cell. And they ran very similar times. Very similar they, times. Yeah. And I wrote Born the week cell. And they both won easily. And that performed quite highly. So. Delate. Yes. There's been big raps on the horses you mentioned before. Uh, I don't think it's Lizard to those big raps as yet. And uh, I think it's a risk. In fact, I haven't even got a second best. So. No, neither have I. I. I don't like it at all. Uh, exclusive honour. I don't even think it's suitable to 1,000, but I'll give it a chance. Sort of freshened up. Uh, I don't mind It's a Work, to be honest. Drawn one um, out of that born to itself race, I think the form is quite strong. Uh, and Lara and A has to be a chance as well, but really. What about Octolurp? Do you give it any? Very, hope? very speedy horse. I think uh, drawn wire here is probably going to sit in the breeze. If it got to the front, it, it wouldn't be impossible, to be yeah. honest. Um, but I think it might work too hard, but it's got a lot of speed. Um, the day that it ran behind the latte was well beaten, it did a lot of work. No, he sort of died the last 100 metres, so... I give it a chance. It actually settled all right at Pinjarra last start. It's got the pacifiers on, and uh, I think if it settles, it's a good chance at $34 in this. That's a, that is a big price and worth a, worth a spec. Uh, Well-bred horse and uh, has a bit of ability, so... Uh, what about the bottom line for the uh, Super Simon Miller camp? C no, I couldn't have it. Its trials were average, I think, but, you know, respect Simon Miller. Alright, so Rio Bruce are the one of the first. Yep. But a bit of value around. Uh, Punters, race two. The second is a 1100 metre sprint. 62 to 74 race, uh, Punters. Uh, there's plenty of pace here. Lissetta. Uh, Godolphin can go forward. Keenland has been blazing away at Broome. Uh, I think it'll suit some of the back markers here. Yes. Uh, Recode is the one I like a little bit. Yes. Uh, despite the weight, I think Harvey is he's the man for this horse. Yes. Rides it best, uh, takes off at the right time, holds it up, like it. Good value, 850. Okay. And there's another couple probably down the path. Thunder Lovin' really depends on what they do with this horse, but I think the price at the moment is well under the odds at 310. Do you think it'll go forward? I think you'll go forward. Yeah, I think you'll go forward and chance of getting trapped, depending on how far. If the, if the leaders break open the field, then it might slot in and be hard to beat. Catlantic's first that run, very impressive. And the trial. Um, it never really did anything last campaign that excited me, but it's trial and it's race. This time in, show me that it's a different horse, so one very three, good chance. One 3.29 over 11 metres. Very good chance. Facing the breeze and just kept going. And over the odds at the moment at $9, I think. Yeah, okay, I think that must have been back there, a bit better than that, maybe not. Uh, good place here. What about Metal Man? New Hope Metal Man? Uh, yeah, I do give it a hope, uh, but its best run is normally its fresh run, 
I find. Okay. But it was a good win last time. I think that Thunder Love and Way Too Short at 310. Uh, and the race should be wide. Um, Lissetta, I've got around the mark. The market pretty well speaks for itself, but I do like a horse which you don't like first up, which is Go Buster. I don't mind it. Uh, I've priced it $11. Renee Forrest getting back, I don't have a lot of confidence. I don't think I'll get back. I think it's in midfield. I think it'll be hard to do today, yesterday, or tomorrow perhaps when it's going to race. Uh, and Outlier as well. Some sort of hope. So quite a wide open race. I think we'll be leaving the favourite to uh, a loser. Yeah. Having the other ones, you know, on the money, and then the roughies a winner. That's the way it looks. Rico for me, I give it a chance. I can't have it as short as I see you've got your form guy there, because just because of the, of the horse and the big field. But it is definitely a chance. Race three, Matt. Last week's lay of the day. Last final week's cut. lay of the day, final cut. Stop bragging about your lay of the day, is it? Uh, it got beat uh, a half length, so I was pretty lucky, really. <laughs> By uh, both tables. I, I found this race... Oh. I found it too, just after race two. I found this race pretty easy, which means I'll probably get it wrong. I, I think that the Guineas form uh, and the champion Phillies form is much better than uh, the other form here, like the Keeper's Court, Arete, Final Cut. Uh, so I'm, I'm liking three out on their own here, Ningaloo Blitz, Fort Courage, and even Alain Marseille, which I think is absolutely screaming out for the 1800 here. Yes, I couldn't agree more on all counts, but I've got first flight of chance also. But I do think uh, Ningaloo Blitz deserves to be favourite. It's had none up at all the last two starts. Um, and really, it could have figured quite close to them, yeah. to, to, to first and second place yeah, if we had it got out. Uh, Glyn's go field 53 kilos. Uh, there was a lack of pace in the race. I said to you yesterday, I think Lord Hendricks, I think he'll jump forward and the horse just pulled anyway. Um, the keeper's caught, I think, might go forward and that and that'll see him. Um, so I do like um, Ningaloo Blitz for courage. Alan Massey has chance as well, also first flight, but first flight's a little short now. Four carriage, I think, would be each way eight fifty for sure. Very good value. Uh, that and I'd be saving on LA Marseille. Um, we know Shane Edwards can train a winner, especially in these big races. Um, and if they get along at all, this horse is going to be perfectly suited at eighteen hundred. They're betting seventeen dollars, so yes. And worth in fact, spec. Uh, in fact, Jason Brown may suit the horse because it might be a horse you might think of going out before the corner, which Jason Brown tends to do. So yeah, I agree. The form of the guineas now is a lot stronger than the. Um, then the keeper's court final cut four, so we'll be laying those. Uh, the fourth is the Lord Mayor's Cup. Now, this is a funny race. It's worth 47 and a half grand, which is less than a Saturday race. It's a cup race or a trophy race. Uh, Over a thousand metres. How do, you, how do you figure the prize Bizarre. money? How do you figure any of it? I don't know. Uh, that's the question for Perth Racing, I think. Uh, it's not a listed race, is it? No. Um, it's an 80 plus, you'd think it'd be worth at least 50 grand. But yeah. anyway, that's got nothing to do with the form. Interesting. Well picked up, Matt. What Good do race. you think about this race? Good race. Oh, look, I haven't done the form yet. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of pace. This Regatta, very, very good trial. You know, it's got a uh, super, super breeding. It's actually a full to a successful sire, but I can't remember which one. Uh, reduced choice singles bar, and it's still a horse. So it's obviously been purchased uh, as a stud prospect, I think. Satorio, very good fresh. This race actually suits it with good pace, even though it's drawn wide. Needs to be out there. If it gets wide, it covers a big chance. Marma has very good form from over race. Um, you know, Henry the Horse Granger didn't carry in big weights, but go well fresh. Nolamar, after a long spell. Gotham City, the Honorage, absolute pleasure. Where do you, where, well, you're ready to figure it out. That's good, isn't it? Well, they're all a chance, man, you know. Um, Where and, do you see the entourage getting in this race? Well, from Latoria, Latoria crossed him last start from outside him. He and he fell over. Start. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it would make sense to go forward and try and lead. He might end up in the breeze, but I don't know what's going to lead. Maybe Regano. Um, highly toxic and jumped for whip might even lead. So maybe highly toxic leading, the entourage breezing, Regano camping. Don't really know. It's a tough race. We'll need to have a look. I tell you what I like, a horse I do like every week and you don't like, and I thought I was going to sack it, but I watched the replay and it wasn't there. Absolute pleasure last start. He actually, he was actually wide for most of the race with no cover. Got big two and a half, back to a thousand pace on drawn well. 
some sort of chance. I've sacked that horse. I know you have. And the corporation, they both sacked him, my book. Is it not the same colours? The same trainer? Same, yeah. Same Latoria, trainer. too short at the 270. Nice win first up, level away, won well. Uh, here, I just think it's too short. I know it's well weighted, but there's, a, there's some good horse in this race. I think what about nice. Grand Jardin, drawn one, $35 shot? Last last campaign, how many runs did it have? Three or four. Didn't seem to find its, its, its best form. I'd need to have a look at it. I haven't seen the trial. Um, it's, it's better than what it's well, was. Well, was racing in better company, um, Power Princess, Grand Nirvana. Yeah. Um, that sort of company. Uh, fresh. Some sort, of, some sort of chance, yeah. But a good race, man. Anything not much you like? Idea, then. No, not really. No. Bit hard, though. Yeah, well, I'd say the Victoria a bit short for mine. Uh, race five is the Japan Racing Association Trophy. This is a trophy race. Yes. Worth and 80 grand. I had never heard of it before, and then I read that it's run annually by the principal clubs of Australia in rotation. So there they must go. take turns every year. There you go. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Eighty thousand dollar race. There you go. Uh, a good lead up to the uh, Cox Stakes and Perth Cup, I would think too. Uh, New Spice. What did you make of its uh, run last start, paying one hundred and ten dollars? I wasn't very impressed with that because we backed at the two starts before, didn't I, we? I think or the we, one start before. I think we backed at most starts in its life. Yeah, um, and we did. We missed out uh, <laughs> at the hundreds, but it was okay. Yeah, the book, the book was okay, but yeah, uh, it was a big run. I, it, I yeah. I, Stunned me actually. It faced the breeze, they went hard, it kicked away, and nothing moved my ground. So uh, they're betting, what are they betting? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> so hundreds to tens. It's a big change, but yeah. if you worked, if you ignored its previous run, if you went its last run, it should be favourite, I think. It probably should be, uh, but it, it reminds me of that race again, the Tats Cup, because there's that many horses in here that have a chance, and they're betting big prices about a lot of them, you know. Um, horses like Malaka, Manila Ice Cream, Miss Tipsy Topsy, they bet $8 that into three ninety best now, so that's a big go. But forgiven last week's run with the slow pace and going early, obviously, and obviously served better served at a step up. For mine, it's a chance, but massive overcorrection correction of the price. For mine, too short in threes. This Double is, barrels a chance, This is a raffle again. Yep. It's a raffle it again. It is, absolutely. Um, throw them in. You know what's unimpossible? Guess when? A week is on, uh, and had been running fair races. Wouldn't surprise me if it ran a better race than figured. Uh, not a 60 to 1 shot as well. Uh, very good race, a lot of value. Uh, again, I'll be, I'll be staying away from the shorties and going a bit wider. Just quickly, where's the pace going to come from here? New Spice again? Big Josh will go forward. New Spice will go forward. He was ridden out vigorously last start. Voracious. Yeah, voracious. No matter what car he does, um, this horse uh, will be up in the first three. Because uh, it'll be pretty keen. I'd love to see them just let this horse yeah, go one day. I think they're trying to get it up to the mile and a half, so I don't see them doing that. Yeah. I'd, I'd like, if I was mine, I'd be doing it, uh, but not tomorrow. They're going to do it. Uh, Saint Costa made the rid more aggressively as well, because um, it's a real wide batter. Western Jewels a chance as well. Uh, Eight dollars. You know, it was uh, second favourite at the Perth. That wasn't it last year. Yeah, has been this a bit year. disappointing. Curiel. Uh, it was the last time. Fourteen. Uh, she does ride very patiently, Kira. Yeah. Probably a bit over patiently sometimes, but sort of horse. If it was uh, yield a pike, the price would halve. Yeah. Um, true. And uh, it's some it's some sort of hope. Eight dollars is, is is not not a bad price, but it's a wide open race. Got a, got a spoken? Sorry, got a spoken. Uh, yeah, no problem with it. Was just a run last day. Just playing. Uh, yeah. These horses are not racing well. No. The Jungle Dawn Classic. <clears throat> Good race. 1400 metre race. Uh, this is a wide open race as well. Morning Miss, favourite. Uh, drawn 18, had every mortal hope last start. Yeah, got up the last try to beat Sunday Lovey who raced in the breeze. Don't like it at all. Ooh. Don't like it at all, at all, at all. Down in weight, W Pike. They probably won't bet much better than the 420, but uh, we'll be laying it for sure. Yeah. Uh, again, this is an absolute raffle. A lot of chances. Uh, even the star I had leading, uh, and a better run last start, though I still don't think it's back to its old uh, best form, but it did back the way okay. Uh, I think Bontiara will go forward tomorrow. Race keen last start, uh, draw more Donner on it. Uh, he went forward and sat in the breeze and won on it two starts ago. Um, so I had Bontiara going forward. Premadale blinkers off, may try and sit. I think they're going to try and settle this horse. Uh, yeah. 
Each run was average. It was average, and I've, yeah. I, I've got to uh, have a risk at the price. Uh, elsewhere, I see massive run last day. It came from almost yeah. last on the turn. Yeah. Uh, it is elsewhere, I see. Reminds me of another horse we used to back, um, Lover, Lover Buzz, you know, just sort of always threatened to run on, and then, then one day it'll get up and win. But it has to be considered. Sweet Serenity uh, is now second favourite, I believe, at around five dollars. Sweet Serenity just gets too far back. Yeah, and they've got luck, and a big field here. Yeah. At five dollars, probably a risk at the price as well. Has to be a chance. Summer Swallow, they're betting seven nine dollars. Was only beat under a length last start, suited by a fourteen. There, there, was a, there are a lot of these horses that were beaten, sort of two. Two and a half lengths last time. Well, even, so. even Versine was beaten too, came from last and a bit in 100 to 1. So, you know, how much price can you give for a length, I suppose? So it's a very wide open race, a lot of chances, go wide again, punters. Uh, certainly, it was, it was just a ball, which is very hard for me to say, is uh, racing in career best form. $31, but drawn 17 is going to need a lot of luck from back there. Yeah, however, having said that, to be drawn outside of wide edition in these races may not be so bad. To be drawn inside, you can get cluttered back midfield of the rail, you're in all sorts of trouble. And I think P. Nucky going on uh, to replace Hayley Dine is a massive plus there. Yeah, it's it's a chance as well. A lot of chances. Uh, go wide, throw in the shorties if you're running a book on Betfair. Morning Mist, Sweet Serenity. Uh, and go wide, even a star I think is too short. Moonlight, Moonlight Bay is at every chance. Uh, it's some sort of hope, but uh, it's now at the fourteen dollars, twelve dollars. Sorry, good race, a lot of chances again. The Kingston Town. Have you done this race? No, I haven't done this race. I have. I've had a good look at it a few times. I have done this race, and I like it a bit. Your pace is going to come from obviously Mega Steel, Wolf Dreams, Wolf Dreams. You just can't hold the horse anyway, so it's going to be run at a good clip. Uh, Ranger did a massive job in the railway to get Polax, absolutely Polax. Yeah, and beaten six. But there were other horses there that were inconvenienced um, as well. King Capel copped a check. Uh, Battle Emblem. Tranquility copped a check, uh, which was, uh, sorry, Battle Emblem it was back in last place, and they're betting some massive price, this horse. Uh, and after they both copped their checks, Ranger and Battle Emblem actually went together. Um, so they both lost an equal amount of ground, you saying? Or? Yeah, and, and Battle Emblem wasn't giving it away, it was sort of covering the field the same. One's for all day, one's $120. Yeah, so um, having said that, I do have Ranger on top. I've got it about the same price that they're betting now. Um, Lucky Grey is hard, it's hard to sum up. He's going to get back again. He goes up massively in weight. Can he accelerate with that weight, the same as he did in the railway? It was a massive run in the railway, very impressive run. He caught the big, uh, uh, well, he, I wouldn't say check, he, he got hampered. He's lost his momentum. He changed direction, yeah. And then he's got out, and he's come home in 33.89 in the it was railway. was enormous, enormous run. But can he do that with an extra how many kilos? Five, five and a half kilos? Well, they're all carrying weight, apart from King Saul. I don't know the formula, but I think he'll... Uh, I think he'll win again, and I think he'll uh, be shorter than the 3.30 on off at the moment on the race day. They came for him big time last start. I'm begging to differ. I think Ranger will beat him. You reckon? Proven at weight for age now. Um, but that race that it won was the fast pace, had the jump on him. On, on the wet day, it did too. So, you know, Ranger for me has got some tricks, and I'm still not convinced this horse. It's, it's a very good chance, but... It shouldn't be this close to Lucky Grey, both in Lucky Grey's last one, which was actually enormous. It caught a check as well, not as bad as the other ones. It's still better by four or five weeks. Uh, this is a very, very nice horse. What about King Saul? We haven't talked no, about King Saul. Couldn't have him. And, and I, I got it wrong a couple of years ago when God has spoken one this race. Did, was it God has spoken one this race? Playing God one Playing last God year. Playing God one Copped it up the date, didn't we? Yeah, it? yeah. Had every chance, and tomorrow was lucky to win. Uh, this horse. Uh, Good run last night, good win, but this company, even with the weight pull, I can't have it. It's a huge pull of the weight. What price would Kai Gerda be here in second to it? Be under the length in this race. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so the, I know the pull of the weights is there and they favour the three roll, but not for mine, King Saul, especially at the 550, whatever it's an offer. I'm got definitely that? leading Ranger, Lucky Grey. King Cable, how was the run? It was okay. Uh, copped a bit of a check on the turn, was making some ground. 
doesn't excite me. AVNS. Nothing must excite you, though, does it? No. AVNS impossible, in my opinion. Impossible? Impossible. Had every hope. Third defence. Went backwards. No good. Better in back on the field, I reckon. I think she's had enough, to be honest. Big call. Cool. And that's about it. Tranquility there's been good money for, with Paul Harvey going aboard. It was a, a not a bad run either. Playing God? Playing God, uh, impossible. Terrible, terrible run in the railway. Alright. We beat a different. We'll see how we go there, Panas. Good race to Kingston Town. The Scahill. Uh, the penultimate Scahill. This is almost a race in two, I think. Uh, Waratah should get the front. Um, you've just told me he's got bar shoes on. Bar so shoes on. A bit of a concern. Um, Grand yes. Urbana and Waratahs have historically been very close together. So one they're betting 220, the other bet they're betting 320. Uh, Brad Rewiller goes on to Grand Nirvana. Uh I think he's a very good chance to beat Waratahs here. I agree. I agree. Uh, Waratahs won this race last year, led in one easy. If he rides the horse the same way, it brings Grand Nirvana into the race, if he races handy. Uh, the only thing about Grand Nirvana is that sometimes it can race keen, and when it races keen, it doesn't finish off yeah. as well. Uh, Brad Waller hasn't ridden the horse before. The horse goes quite well for Peter Hall, so that's you know, a bit of a question mark. The bar shoe one does worry me, um, and also Grand Nirvana going up from the 12th to the 14th, I think suits more than Waratah coming back from the mile to the 14th. Um, because I think uh, he was a bit one pace last after, after he got the, the bump. Uh, so, and I know Elusive Touch came from last time, it was a good run first up. I'm just dubious of the format race, word led him up in the winner one. They didn't go that hard, they only went length faster than the, the other race on the same day. Uh, so I think you'll find this horse in the breeze tomorrow, Elusive Touch. Uh, went back and looked at some of its Melbourne runs, very fast beginner. And I think they only went back last start because they were drawn 12. So yeah. without any other pace really in the race, uh, I think you'll end up in the breeze. That changes the race if that happens because he's only had one start over the four and he's a real speedster. And uh, that will bring Grand Nirvana even more to the race if yeah. that happens. So I like Grand Nirvana as well, uh, just ahead of Waratahs. I don't really want him to be off the beat. No, the neither do I. Um, Tazi, Wink is on, not racing well. Probably not a sixty-one dollar shop the way it's you know been running, but I, I couldn't have I it. Couldn't have it, no. But it is a big price. On to the last. Another good race. And we've got a shorty here. He's, he's drifting caves road. He opened up even money out to two fifty best now. Two fifty. Um, big unders here for me. Drawn wide. Uh, stepping into. Uh, older age company who's not race out of three year old company, I don't think, prior yep. to this. Yep, he's definitely a chance. He is too short. Dino's Diamond draw one to get them out of the race. Um, he might be even be too short as well. Because there's a lot of chances, like you say. Your horses like Sun Silver and Cavalier Pats a big run first up, came from a mile back. Drawn very wide. There's already. money for this already, Cavallo Pazzo. Well, he's, he's a versatile horse. He can go forward and back up here where the pace is. Even after Daddy is forming your job and being quite good. Has raced well in town before, drawn better today. And the other one I've sacked is there as well, the corporation. You sacked the corporation? Uh, Why have you sacked that? Uh, it's, I don't know, it's just a bit of a non winner for mine. Blink it's is always right. gonna, it's always gonna, it's running on a yeah, while okay. back. Okay. Uh, good race. Cobble Lane's last year has been excellent. Uh, do some work. Our Larrikin likes to pace on. Yeah, there'll be a good pace on here. What about the regulator? We backed this last start, Nick. It went terrible. Haven't watched a replay. I think it's a, it's it's a it's a it's a horse that needs to be first or second, not back in the field. So if the race at hand yet, I'd like to see how it goes. Uh, and zip code down the bottom. I'll tell you what. Face the breeze. Uh, got beaten two by Morning Mist. Morning Mist is favourite in the other race. Um, this is down five kilos. Should find the front. Drawn well, yeah. And uh, it has to be a chance. No, we're betting $20 or $20. It's got a very good record at the 12, too. Um, yeah. Unplaced once, I think, at 1200 so... So, it's some sort of hope. They've bet $26 zip code into yeah. about 19 or 20 now. Yeah, so, a lot of chances. 21, 21. zip code. Sunny nice horse, a lot of chances. Again, I think Dino Diamond's probably too short, and also Cage Road, 
dub it white parmesan for Monday use. Um, uh, all day, that's probably the, the thing to say, apart from the scale uh, and uh, the Ningaloo Boots race. I think they're, they're, they're the shallower races on the program, or the feature races anyway. Yeah. What's your best bet, man? Best bet? Uh, Rio Breezer, definitely in the first. Okay. And your lay of the day was what again, sorry? Lay of the day... You can't have morning misses, I've already said that. Lay of the day would have to be... Uh, you're putting me on the spot. Cage Road in the last. Cage Road in the last. The, right you know, I think it can win, but I think at the odds, it's got to be a lay. I couldn't have Rio Breeze my best bet. Um, I'm almost prepared to go Ningaloo Blitz each way as my best bet, to be honest. Um, and my lay of the day has to be morning mist. Uh, I know, I couldn't have Rio Breeze at the Waratahs, just in case Waratahs is right. So yeah, my lay of the day, my be better day, each way in the Blitz. Race three punters. Look forward to seeing you on course. Big nine race card. Look for our new punter sign and our friendly staff. Come and have a bet, because we'll bet you. Thank you.